with me? Welcome everyone. My name is Lynn Schusler Williams. I'm a speaker, coach, and author out of Louisville, Kentucky, and it is my great pleasure to be your host for your Wednesday training Zoom for Success Partners International. We start all our Zooms and calls with our signature message because each and every one of us can say, I am part of a growing team of entrepreneurs with a shared mission to protect and empower 2 million families and small businesses with Legal Shield's network of law firms and world-class identity theft services. What we do matters, and we are looking for help. And with that, I get to introduce my workout partner, an amazing leader on Success Partners, a 20-year veteran of our team, uh, Ms. Lynette McKinley out of Northeast Texas. The call is yours, ma'am. Awesome, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick and get this show started. Um, my name is Lynette McKinley from Northeast Texas. Very excited to be here to share some really exciting information with you. I had the opportunity to be on a training call earlier in the week and it talked about um, the incredible enhancements that are coming to our ID Shield program. So what I did was took that information, put it into our PowerPoint, and I'm very excited to be able to share it with you tonight. Um, I'm gonna give you all the information I have I still have a couple of questions. So if you have questions after this training, we're just gonna have to wait and get the information from the corporate office, but let's go ahead and get started. All of the updates and enhancements that we're gonna talk about are actually gonna be available either now or by the end of May, according to the training that I was part of. And um, it's gonna be a huge enhancement in the area of privacy and reputation. So that's an area of our program, as you know, with ID Shield, we're all about, you know, the identity uh, theft monitoring and restoration services, and we added a reputation and privacy component, but we are really beefing that up, and I'm very excited to be able to share this information with you. So we know on average that Americans spend about 23 hours online every single week. Um, of course, during COVID-19, that's probably double. We're probably spending way more time online than we used to. But information about us is being leaked out everywhere we go and almost every site that we go look at. So here's an example of the way our program used to work. You can see in the arrow there where it says reactive, everything that we had as far as our ID Shield program was reactive, meaning an event had to occur or ID Shield had to identify a problem and then they could go to a resolution component. So we had monitoring and alerting. You can see that we did credit monitoring, identity, financial, social security, and dark web monitoring. And that will all continue. And then you'll see in the center of that slide we're talking about today, and then moving forward, we're gonna be very proactive um, with the rest of this. So you can see the managing and controlling area that we're gonna add with reputation management, data broker information, social media settings and data, internet browsers, bullying prevention and preparedness and voice assistance privacy so that part is just very exciting to see what we're going to be able to keep doing so let me go ahead to the next slide oops i lost my ability to transfer okay here we go so here are the four pillars of id shields privacy and reputation services that are going to help members we're going to be able to control data setting the control data settings that are on social media, uh, meet, uh, web and other connected devices and services. Um, we're going to be able to manage what people can find out about us through social media, the web and data broker sites. We're also going to help keep our members to accounts secure against hackers and breaches. And we're going to be able to manage those who, who can see what we share, what we post, what we watch, what we browse. Um, what we comment on. This is a, it's a busy uh, slide, I know, but I just want you to be able to see the eight areas that we are having um, huge, uh, in, uh, I guess, huge areas that we're going to be able to monitor for our members. Reputation management, social media privacy, we have an anti-bullying initiative that is going to be a part of this, voice assistant privacy, data, uh, data browser privacy, smart TV privacy, whoever knew that was a thing, right? Password privacy and browser privacy. 
So social media monitoring, here's one of the first big announcements that we can look forward to. We all know that there is a social media component in most of the ID Shield programs that include Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram for the member and the member spouse. Um, by the end of the month, we'll be adding YouTube to that as far as monitoring. So the member will be able to go in, put their username and password, and have ID Shield monitoring the types of uh, posts and things that are going out on YouTube. That's a huge enhancement. But this one's even bigger. By the end of the month, parents will be able to monitor their minor children's social media accounts. They will be adding um, the same platforms for up to 10 minor children. So now an adult, in the past, what an adult had to do was you know, basically give up their slot and maybe use the username and password for their children or one child at a time to monitor social media. That is no longer gonna be the case. They will be able to add all of their children and monitor all of the social media platforms through our program effective at the end of May. That to me is very exciting and it's a huge selling feature for, um, for people with uh, children, minor children, teenagers. It's just gonna be awesome. Going into the reputation management component. Um, this is exciting because currently all of our monitoring starts at the point that the member becomes an ID Shield member. All of the monitoring goes in a forward direction not any longer. Now we're gonna have the ability to go back in time and look at posts from the past that were made with our usernames and see if we'd like to consider taking those posts down. I think we've all seen um, in the news, sometimes somebody um, you know, wants to go run for public office or they go for the school board and all of a sudden people start checking everything that ever happened in the past, every comment that was ever said. Well, this will give each of our members the ability to go back in time, make sure that everything that's out there is something that they still want um, posted and that still represents their point of view. So that could be a huge benefit um, for our members moving forward, part of the reputation management component. Data collection. ID Shield Associates will assist members to learn what data is being collected about them. They're going to be able to assist members by going to sites, see what information that particular site has gathered, and help them delete the data. This is exciting because the employees at ID Shield, you know, our employees, have actually already been trained on how to do this. So our members will be able to call in, you know, go over the phone with a representative, and that representative will be able to walk them through how to go through um, their sites that they, that they frequent, look to see what information has been collected, and actually walk that member through how to, to, how to delete that data. Now this one, um, I'm very excited that we're gonna be able to offer this because this is a huge benefit for families. And um, we're gonna add a cyberbullying component. And um, you know, I think that one of the things that we've all seen on the news at times is when a tragedy occurs because a child has been bullied and they eventually uh, take their life. And of course, that's something that parents have said repeatedly, that they just wish they knew sooner. And this is gonna give um, every parent the ability to not only monitor their social media platforms for reputation and privacy concerns, but also to um, help identify if there's any uh, cyberbullying occurring. Now, I know you can't read this slide, it's very small, but um, I just want you to know that, um, that we will be able to monitor social media accounts for personally identifiable information uh, 16 digit numbers, which typically um, indicate credit cards, malware or spam. It's going to look for language containing profanity, sexually explicit terms, violent words, etc. They have the ability to scan for over 2000 words that are going to include things like hashtags, abbreviation symbols and codes that kids use for these terms so that they can still catch them catch these words being used, even if it's not in proper English. Um, they've uh, got a detailed protocol in place for all 50 states to follow when potential bullying is identified, and it will be able to connect parents to anti-bullying organizations that can help them, including law enforcement or 911 if needed. So I think this is just such an incredible benefit um, for anyone who has children, and uh, definitely a reason why they're going to want to protect their families with ID Shield. Voice assistance privacy. I know everybody has these devices in their home, Alexa, Google, 
I was watching the training video that I referenced earlier and my Alexa was going off every time the speaker mentioned <laughs> Alexa. So it was very interesting, but of course, we can now have um, the ability to provide assistance to our members with how to limit the control and control with information. Um, Alexa or, or Google or Siri can uh, collect from us and we can uh, search and request and know what's going on with that and actually limit the privacy settings to make sure that they're only able to um, capture what we want them to be able to capture. Data broker privacy, I don't know if you're familiar with these companies. Uh, the one that I did look at before was the My Life one. It's amazing how much information is out there in the public. If you go to My Life and do a search on yourself, they're gonna pull information about you from all sorts of databases. They knew you know, income levels, addresses, family members. They knew so much information, it's unbelievable. And so data, bro data broker privacy is a very big deal. These companies collect public information about us from voting records, DMV records, anything that's public, but you would be surprised to find out how much information is out there that's considered public. Um, our teams can assist members deleting this information from these databases. The member will just call and uh, a representative will actually walk them right through how to do that. All right, smart TV privacy. Um, if you have a smart TV, um, it's interesting because when we watch TV, we don't think about the fact that the TV is probably watching us. And if you have Netflix with several family members, you know that it wants to know who's watching the programs, who's watching the TV. That's so that they can target advertising to that individual based on the types of programming that they watch. So team members will be able to assist ID Shield members to find out what information is being collected as well as provide brand specific assistance. So if you call up there and say, hey, I've got a, Tony, a Sony television, they're gonna be able to walk you through how to go back and change the privacy settings and that Sony television. So that's pretty exciting as well. Browser privacy settings, um, we all know the first four that are listed there. I had never heard of DuckDuckGo, but evidently that's one of the highest recommended uh, browsers for privacy where they don't collect data from you. So um, there's gonna be um, lots of assistance with going into these browser settings and changing um, that to where they're not collecting information from us as well. Privacy and reputation management, this is basically the three tiers of service that we're gonna be able to provide moving forward after May 30th. We're gonna have some services that are monitored that will include reputation management, social media privacy, and anti-bullying. The other component will be consultation. A member can call in, speak with a representative, and get assistance on the six areas in the center, voice assistant privacy, data broker, smart TV, social media, anti-bullying, and reputation management. And then there's guidance. Guidance will be um, able to be received from the uh, assistance at corporate. They'll be able to help our members uh, with password privacy and browser privacy. All right, this is an interesting part. And we're partnering, partnering with another company called Yourself Online. Um, it's a reputation management tool. It will give you a score on your privacy and it will um, be able to alert you if it finds any questionable or nefarious social media posts that it might be appearing in any of your sites. And data broker sites will also show here. Another example of what they will be able to do is photos. If they can identify something that might be questionable with a photo, it'll show up here on your um, dashboard and you can look at it and say, hey, yeah, I wanna post that photo, that's fine. But if not, uh, you can take it down. Um, an example in, the, in this particular uh, case is two girls in a swimsuit, that's fine. But um, it's looking for possible nudity. Um, the artificial intelligence software can also identify photos with guns, drug paraphernalia, alcohol, and um, it'll bring these uh, photos to your attention and you can make sure it's something that you do really want posted out there for public view. All right, we're gonna wrap up by going to LS Engage. I wanted to show you what's available to you right now that you can start using, you can start sending to your members and you can start educating yourself on these programs as they um, continue to be rolled out. If you go to LS Engage and your resources, you'll, if you put in privacy, which you can see I type that in the screen there, just privacy, these eight documents will come up and you can go into each of them and some of them can be personalized for use one of them talks about the uh, smart TV. What do you do when your TV starts watching you back? And this is a full flat sheet. I just captured the top portion to show you an example of what this looks like. But 
that's one flat sheet. The next one is regarding social media. There's one about Alexa and Google and Siri. The data brokers. And then our privacy policy is also listed there, which I thought was interesting because I'm sure if you've ever sold an IV Shield program, you've had somebody at some point ask you um, or tell you that they're not comfortable giving you their information and you want to know how is that they want to know how is that going to be handled. Well, here's our privacy policy and it's a great thing to have printed off and be able to share with our clients when they have a question about what we're doing with their information. And then this last piece here is um, ID Shield 3 Bureau with privacy and reputation management versus LifeLock Ultimate Plus. And this is a really great side-by-side -side, apples to apples comparison of how we compare to LifeLock and we're hands down the winner here. So um, this is a great sheet to go ahead and personalize and have ready to go because um, this is just a great piece. So I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes to share this information from you. I know it was uh, very fast. This actual presentation was about 40 minutes <laughs> earlier. So um, it was all compiled from a B2B training presentation by Mr. Alan Spence, who's the product lead for ID Shield. And I just wanted to remind you to please watch the corporate communications for further details uh, regarding uh, this rollout, which I'm very excited will be by the end of the month. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and throw it back out to Mr. Drennan for a very exciting announcement. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, Lynette McKinley. And what great information. I know during the live stream early last month, they shared a little bit of this and what was coming, but I feel like it got lost in all the incredible things we saw in the live stream. So when you mentioned to me, this call you were on, this training you were on, and some of these things, I thought, wow, we need to get this in front of our associates. So thank you so much. What a great job you did. And folks, I have a big, big news announcement here. You know, I, I have believed for a long time that the most important recognition in legal field, if you look at all of it, is Millionaire Club. Here's why I say that. We've seen people get their rings maybe on, on one group or one, you know, splash, getting that ring. And getting a millionaire club status takes time. It requires you really do the business. You really stand the test of time. You, you know, you're consistent. And it's a growing group in legal seal, that's for sure, as we approach 300. Well, tonight I want to announce the newest millionaire club member in all of Legal Shield is part of Success Partners International. We all know this gentleman. He's going to do the rest of tonight's training. And it's an absolute honor for me to go out to the newest Millionaire Club member in North Carolina, Mr. Timmer Halligan, sir. Congratulations to you. You deserve it and over to you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Drennan. Truly, truly appreciate you and uh, your leadership. You know, I mean, most folks know my story. You know, the first four or five years in Legal Shield, uh, I just really didn't plug into this system uh, that Legal Shield has got together or put together for us. And, and now from our last corporate trainings, you know, we now have uh, the systems for success in Legal Shield. And I always say to myself, it probably cost me a half a million dollars in about uh, four or five years to get this, this honor, you know, to be part of the Millionaires Club. But, you know, everybody's journey is their own journey. And, uh, you know, here's what I can tell you. You know, when I started with Legal Shield uh, 16 years ago, it was, uh, you know, to, to go out and make a couple hundred extra bucks. You know, that's really what it was. I mean, I believed in the service right from day one. Why? Because I used the services. And I knew that if I used them, other folks would use them. And if other folks would use them, they would tell other people about them. And, uh, you know, I was super excited to get that call today. And, you know, that call right there, you know, would not have happened if I didn't get a call from Mr. Drennan back in 2009. And uh, he just said, hey, listen, we need to get together. We need to chat a little bit. You know, how many people can you put in a room? And, uh, you know, then I went to work after that. And so it's an honor I share with my entire team, with everybody that's you know, contributed to me getting better at what we do because, you know, you're not always where you are today when you started. You're not as good at talking about the membership. You're not as good as 
about doing three-way calls. You're not as good as overcoming objections. And all of that comes from, guys, a whole lot of people telling you no. A whole lot of people saying that's not going to work. A whole lot of people saying, was well, that one of those things? Is that a pyramid? Is it this? Is it that? And you know what? When you become bulletproof uh, and understand what this membership brings, you know, the best is yet to come for everyone. And I got to say, Lynette, what an amazing job uh, just talking about ID Shield. It was interesting. You were talking about voice recognition. As soon as you said Alexa, my Alexa started going off uh, in the room that I'm in right now. And I started thinking about, wow, what if somebody else has Alexa? And, you know, you think about all of the different components uh, that are now part of ID Shield. We live in a data driven society. I really believe right now, I mean, I love the Legal Shield membership. It is absolutely the greatest thing that's out there. But listening to what you just talked about with ID Shield, I think we have taken it to a whole nother level. And let me tell you, it's going to take some time to understand that. Lynette went through it quite quickly. And um, I'm actually going to you know, reach out to Lynette and see if we can do another one of those and put it on our Facebook page uh, together. Uh, because I think this is right now, you know, as we were talking about more and more people are online in every different facet and every, and there were things that were brought up there that were just unreal. So Lynette, I appreciate that presentation so much. I appreciate all the congratulations, you know, in regards to millionaire club status and, you know, the journey is the journey guys. I mean, don't ever think that you can't get there. Don't start thinking that's where you want to go. Uh, because it will happen. And I'm excited tonight uh, to be able to talk a little bit about uh, what I call our newest disruptive innovator uh, innovation. And that is, uh, you know, the new sheets that we have, the new tracking sheets that we've got here with Legal Shield. And I'm going to share these tonight because I want to go through these with everyone. You know, Mr. Drennan, I mean, it's so good to have Mr. Drennan back. I mean, I think everybody you know, is, will agree that, you know, when your leader is stepping away for a bit, I think we did an amazing job, but having him back and, and being able to dive into the details. One thing that Mr. John Drennan is so incredible about is taking the time to delve into the details so that we can become better. And we've come up with three new tracking sheets that are simple. Right, and think about everything we've ever talked about in disruptive innovations. They're simpler, they're easier, they're more affordable. They give people the ability to do things at a much faster rate. You know, and yeah, sometimes you've got to slow down to be able to speed up. I mean, when I took a look at that Uber app for the first time, I had to look at it, think about it, figure out where to touch things. When I took a look at our prospect app, I had to figure that out. And here's one thing I'll tell you is Legal Shield is continuing to enhance everything. I mean, the new things they've added into prospect by Legal Shield, because we've got really, you know, three things, you know, that we're, we're really focusing on. Number one is getting people, all of our prospects into prospect inviting people to Zooms and getting people involved with three-way calls. I mean, that's the, that's the key to this business. That's what I think, you know, right now when you're seeing the amount of, of, of growth, like I said, 14 ring earners last month alone, if that doesn't just knock you over the head and say, my goodness, if 14 people can get rings, how are they doing that? Well, it's because they made the pivot. And we've been talking about making the pivot and getting to the place where we're really looking at the basics in what it is that we do. So you've got these three new tracking forms and I'm just going to kind of walk you through them, share with you a little bit about the way I view them. And I'm looking at them now better than I was a week ago. See, now there's a lot of people right now that are saying, you know what, I haven't seen these tracking sheets or I haven't taken the time to print them. I'll tell you right now, I wasn't taking all the time to print them like I should because, oh, my printer cartridge was out and then I've got to go to the store to buy a new one. Well, guess what? Once you get these printed, you get them organized. I mean, I'll just tell you the way that I'm doing it and you can do it your own way. But, you know, I print up each one of these forms. I've got lots and lots of copies of them. I three hole punch them and I organize them in a book. Why? Because organization is the key to success. 
you know, ask me this same thing five years ago and I would have had four or five of these sheets of paper laying around. I wouldn't have gotten to them the way I should have and could have, but success is a choice. So let's take a look at these three forms. Now you may ask, where can I get these forms? Well, where you can get these forms is go over to our team website and I'll show you real quick at the end here where you can find them, but go over to our team website, begintheascent.com. Across the top, you go to the things to know section, you click on documents, and you'll see these three new tracking forms, plus another form that's out there that talks about uh, re-engaging uh, old associates back into the business. So the first one is called the prospect tracking detail sheet. Now listen, we are looking to build our list from social media. And we know that we've got things like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, those are the three that I use. You know, I mean, there's other ones that are probably out there. But now when you think about it, you're out there meeting people for the first time and or reintroducing yourself to somebody you knew in high school or went to college to or, you know, that you're at work with and you're, you're re reaching out to them in a different way. You're reaching out, number one, to learn more about them. You're reaching out uh, to be able to engage in conversations when people are not at work right now. And this prospect tracking detail sheet, I think is so important. Now, you know, what's interesting is that, you know, uh, we were just talking about all the things that ID Shield is going to do in social media. And I'll be honest, you know, when I, when I start looking at people on social media, I'm really looking at who they are. You know, number one, I do look to see if there's somebody I want to align myself with. I mean, that's just me personally. I'm not going to just reach out to anybody. I'm looking for professional people. Now, where I a lot of times start is I reach out to friends of my members, people I've got good relationships with. Why? Because I can reach out to them and just say, hey, how are you doing? I'll send them a friend request. They accept my friend request. As soon as they accept my friend request, uh, because I did my due diligence first, I'll say to them, hey, thanks so much for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you're a friend of my, uh, one of my clients and good friends, Joe. And, uh, you know, that's going to initiate a conversation. Normally what it gets people to start to say is, well, well, how do you guys know each other? What is it that you do? Or I'll just send out a request to somebody that looks really, really cool. I remember when I, you know, got an associate that came on board a couple years ago. I, I just happened to see him come across my newsfeed and he had a lot of things that were positive uh, that he had said. So this uh, prospect tracking detail sheet, and I just put my own name in here as a sample. And, you know, who's my prospect, Timmer Halligan. And, Who's his spouse? How can I find that out? Because it's on social media. I notice he's got some children. How do I know that? Well, he's posting pictures of them all the time in regard to their tennis or what they've got going on in life. Here's his phone number. I could grab that right off of social media. I could probably grab an email address off of there. I can see he lives in North Carolina. I see him talking about being a tennis professional and doing some consulting and running clubs. I notice he played professional tennis and I start with this and I may move down here and I say on 5-1-2020, I met him on Facebook and I made an introduction. Next step, notice I don't have anything here yet because I'm not going to just start talking about legal shield. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work my way into it. And I just wrote a little note. I said, we got to know each other today. We probably learned more about each other's families. I learned a little bit more about, you know, what that person does. Now, on the second day that we get together, on the second, you know, I may say to him, I sent him another Facebook message. Now, the next step is we've initiated some conversations and I've put him into a prospect by Legal Shield and I sent him a video. See, the sheet is so simple. You know, I can just go through and each person has their own sheet. What's great is that we know that it takes five to 12 times or so to get somebody to buy. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 boxes here. By the 10th one. Hello, this is Jim Harkema. You know, by the 10th one, the person is probably, uh, you know, joined or we've gotten in some sort of engagement or, hey, maybe he told me to go jump in a lake. I don't know. But this document makes it really, really simple to track each particular person. Now, hey, Tim, also we're take... not seeing your document. We're just seeing your library. Oh, okay. That's very simple. So you're not seeing the document there. Uh... Let me stop.
stop share there. Let me try this again and see if, can you see it now? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks so much for letting me know that. So anyway, you heard all the things I was saying. So here's the form. Talks a little bit about, uh, you know, how I, I met the person and tells me a little bit more about who the person is and their kids. Now we got another sheet down here, which is called our success tracking sheet. Now this is so important on two fronts. Number one, it's extremely important for you in taking a look at your business. It's equally as important, if not more important, that you can work on this with your support team, with your uh, upline, uh, with your workout partner, because this makes it really simple. So I said, okay, listen, you, know, you put your name across the top, the date range in which you're doing some work, and it's simply just a tally sheet. Notice I put down 5120 there. I added five people to my list. I sent nine people a, a, a prospecting resource. I invited seven people to Zoom and I used third party or did two three-way calls. Now, what this starts to show is trends and habits of what you're doing. See, we're more comfortable doing certain things. And a document like this really shares that and shows that so we can become better. Notice on the second day, I sent, add seven people to my list. I sent out five resources, invited four people to Zoom, and then I added zero, right, to third party. I didn't do any. Notice I put a circle there. I'll come back to it. Notice then on the next day, I had four people I added to my list. I didn't send out any resources, no Zoom invites, no use of third party. And then on that next day, I had one add to my list, one resource, no three-way calls, no Zoom invites. Then on the last day, six people to my list, one person I sent a resource to, I invited three to a Zoom and one third party. Now, when you look at that, you notice a couple things. You notice the law of diminishing returns, which then leads to the law of uh, diminishing activity. What do I mean there is you didn't see a whole lot of results on the first day. So you didn't see a whole lot of results. And then the next day comes along, life gets in the way. Wow, it's really easy to add people to my list but notice my resources went down, my Zoom invites went down, and I didn't get anybody on a three-way call. Then I go to that next day and I added a bunch of people to my list, but I didn't do anything on the rest of it. Consistency is the king and queen of all success, I promise you that. I then the next day went to add one person to my list, one resource, no Zoom invites, no three-way calls, and if you hand this to your sponsor, and this is where you want to use this because accountability is going to help you go break through in forming new habits because these are new things. It's easy to hide behind and not be transparent when nobody does things, but here, when you're not doing the right results or the right activities, but transparency leads to success. So if somebody were to hand me this on my team and in leaders, each and every person, we got 50 folks on here right now. I'm encouraging you to get these printed up right now and start using them. You know, I've always heard uh, from the most successful leaders in, in all types of business, work with the willing. My, my statement, my question, my defining moment right now is who's willing to use these forms consistently and share them. Because if I got this form, I could work through it with people. I could work through and talk through the places that I've circled. I could find out what was stopping you from getting those things done. You know, what was it that kept you from wanting to reach out? Conversations will then lead to consistency, will then lead to success. So this success tracking sheet in a snapshot shows you everything that you've done. So it works well for you to see where you're at it works well for your support team, your workout partner, your sponsor, so that you can take a look. And then you come down here and you've got your prospect tracking sheet. And this is just where you take some people's names and you put them. I mean, this is where you take inventory on your list. And you say to them, okay, I put down Timmer Halligan. I sent him a resource. 
I sent him a Zoom invite. Notice I put John D because that means I invited him to John Drennan's Zoom presentation, but I didn't follow up with a three-way call. Then the next day, you know, I got Kevin Smith. I didn't send him any resources. I invited him to a Zoom. Maybe I texted to him. I didn't use any third party. I didn't write any notes in there. And then I take a look at Tom. Tom, I sent a resource. I sent a Zoom invite. I got on a three-way call. He joined. Now, there's a clue there. I tell myself, wow, all three of these things were accomplished. And when all three of them were accomplished, he joined. So these three forms right here are critical to you being able to make the pivot to everything that's going on. They are critical. And let me send us back now. I'm going to head over to uh, here because I want to show you all real quick where you can make sure you know where these forms all are. Can you guys see my screen there, Lynn? Yes, we can. Yes. Awesome. I go here over to begintheascent.com. They're also over on successpartnerscalendar.com. But here, I think they're really, really easy to find. You go over here to documents. You go right here. You click prospect tracking sheet. And there it is. So you can now print them. You then go down to the next one. It says activity tracking sheet. I hit get. There it is. You just print it up. Start to use it. And then I head down here to prospect details tracking sheet. Print it up. There it is. I print it. I make multiple copies of each. I put them into a binder so that I can now start to track all of the activity. I'll then work on getting it out to my workout partner and I encourage each and every one of you to do the same. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys joining us tonight on our team training. Make sure I'm not missing any last minute text anyone sent me. Okay, missed one earlier. We can't see the document. I now have it. So I appreciate you guys joining us tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for joining us tonight. I appreciate the congratulations. Let's print those documents up, folks. Let's get to work and let's go ahead and make this the best May that we have ever had. Bye bye. So before for now. we wrap up here, Timmer. Go hey, ahead, Timmer. sir. Before we wrap up, I know a lot of people are feeling very, very excited for you as our newest Millionaire Club member. So we're going to invite every single person to unmute their camera as long as they're appropriate. Unmute their, their sound and go ahead and let's give a, a cheer for Timmer. We're so excited. Congratulations, Timmer. Congratulations. Giddy up, Timmer. You did a lot of it. Did great, man. Well, thank you guys so much. You gave me chills. I really appreciate that. I'll tell Chuck at the tennis court. There you go. Tell him us today. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, let's continue the celebration tomorrow morning on the morning stretch call led by Lynette McKinley, who did such a great job tonight in her training segment. Everyone have a great night. See you in the morning. Bye for now. Come on.